Good morning and welcome to today's Almost Daily Devotional for Holy Tuesday. This is um, continuing in Mark chapter 11. Uh, this is the 27th verse and it goes like this. Jesus and his disciples entered Jerusalem again. As Jesus was walking around the temple, the chief priests, legal experts, and elders came to him. They asked, What kind of authority do you have for doing these things? Who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I have a question for you. Give me an answer, then I'll tell you what kind of authority I have to do these things. Was John's baptism of heavenly or, or of human origin? Answer me. They argued among themselves. If we say it's of heavenly origin, he'll say, then why didn't you believe him? But we can't say it's of earthly origin. They said this because they were afraid of the crowd, because they all thought John was a prophet. Jesus replied, Neither will I tell you what kind of authority I have to do these things. This is Jesus being at his most clever. Um, this is Jesus trapping or tricking the Pharisees, the people who are questioning him, into, um, into answering the question themselves and sticking them in, a, in an impossible position. It's one of those, um, like when you're a parent, you, um, I've learned not to actually answer the question because they'll just get another why question. If, if I make them think through the answer, then they usually are are content with the answer they've come up with, right? It's a way of putting off the conversation or the way of, of redirecting energy um, when they're just asking why over and over again to ask why over and over again, right? Um, and so Jesus in, is in a way sort of tricking the Pharisees, sort of convincing them that it's their responsibility to figure this out. Because his answer doesn't have anything to do with their question. Have you noticed? They said, what kind of authority do you Jesus have to do this and Jesus says well what authority did John have was John's authority from heaven or from from earth and the, they were stuck the scribes were stuck because they knew um, if they gave credit to John as being of God of being a man of God then they give credit to John's words which pointed towards Jesus as the Messiah that said the baptism for forgiveness of sins was a real thing. And so they couldn't give John the authority of God because it put them, they wouldn't be able to follow through with the accusations they wanted to make towards Jesus. On the other hand, they couldn't say it was earthly because the crowd, everyone who was there, the societal pressure, peer pressure, was heavy on them and said that John was a prophet. Well, nobody really argued that John the Baptist was a prophet, that John spoke as a prophet. And so they didn't have they didn't have a leg to stand on with this argument. And it's Jesus' way of showing them that showing the crowd that their argument, the scribes' argument was empty. That it didn't have any real value, any real purpose, any real substance behind it. It was just an accusation they made up out of their head because they were uncomfortable with the way things were. And sometimes I think that we as humans, we as people do that too. We ignore evidence, we ignore the words of wise people, we ignore um, societal um, commonalities to because it doesn't reinforce what we already believe. Because it's easier for us to believe in things that are outlandish or things that are without substance, really, or easier to believe in things that don't have any real meat to them. Because it's easier to believe that because it, pre it confirms what we already believe than it is to listen to voices of whom we're uncertain or which challenge us. And so we assign them often negative qualities. We assign to them negative thoughts that they must just be bad people or they're, they're trying to do bad things because they don't agree with me. They don't fit into what I understand the world working as. So they must be terrible people. They must be out to do something awful or evil because they don't, they don't fit into how I understand the world or how I understand God. And it's a real challenge for us. We have to question all the time 
Why do I believe this? What do I think? Why do I think this? Is this from God or from me? God bless.